My name is Anita Juarez. I am from Denver, Colorado, and I was diagnosed with MS in September 2020. My neurologist told me about the National MS Society. He said, don't Google MS. Stay away from Google. The best place to get your information is the society. So when I read all the studies and all the information available out there, I wanted to be a part of the MS Society, however possible, whether it's participating in events or, unbeknownst to me, the ambassador program came up. My name is Sarah Locke. I live in Henniker, New Hampshire, and I was diagnosed with MS in 2019. When it comes to what does an MS ambassador do, we can do whatever we want to do. And that's what's really cool about the program. We can actually develop an event on our own. We can glob into another event. We can speak at a local school talking about MS. Go to a local nursing home and talk about MS. It's really where do you want to deliver your message? Go there, do that. And with all of the resources that the National MS Society gives us, really sky's the limit. My name is Sierra Harrison. I live in North Carolina. I was diagnosed with relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis in April 2016 at the age of 25. But I became an ambassador December of 2022. And what I do with the community is I like to spread it online. So if that's through my social medias, through my YouTube channel, and I just let people know, hey, this is what the National MS Society has to offer and what they allow you to do, there's just, there's the resource for you to, I mean, I have a person that I email her and I say, this is my idea. And she was fantastic. Here are some resources. This year I emailed her and said, I need more sponsors. I can't just carry this all on my own. And she goes, here's a letter that we drafted for you on National MS Letterhead. But I think it's brilliant for the National MS Society to come out with an ambassador program because it's fitting into that niche. Anybody who wants to be part of delivering awareness, a message for MS, become an MS ambassador. The ultimate goal is a cure. So to have more ambassadors and more people and more outreach can help us get there.